All this month at Appalachian Wireless, get the only truly water-resistant Android smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S7, for just $99.99, and get a second one free. While supplies last, service agreement is required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. It's becoming more and more common to hear stories of scammers working to steal from residents in our region. However, EKB News has recently discovered a pair of scammers targeting Pike County businesses claiming to work for East Kentucky Broadcasting. There was a lady that came in and claimed to be an employee of EKB and wanted us to buy um, some advertisement. And we didn't at that time, something didn't sound right. Um, we're real familiar with the reps that we deal with, you know, all the time. And so we just told them to check back with us. And then when we talked to our rep, we found out that it, you know, someone that wasn't an employee there. The moment EKB management was notified, immediate action was taken. This has gotten our attention and we're going to take some steps to make sure that our people are easily identifiable. One of the things that we will be implementing very quickly would be metal engraved name tags not lanyards, not stickers, nothing of a temporary nature, but our people who are out there representing East Kentucky Broadcasting will have metal engraved name tags. Johnson also notified the Kentucky State Police who are now investigating and visiting businesses who have notified the company that they have been visited by a scammer. Uh, Trooper Thacker came in, he's investigating as we speak, and um, I think he's going from business to business, which is a good thing. At this time, it appears the skimmers are targeting businesses in the Caney area of Pike County, but Johnson is asking any businesses with concerns to contact the company. We've got an open door policy. We're available 24 seven. So call the company or go on our website, check our Facebook pages, send us a message one way or another. Somebody will follow up and get right back. Or Johnson says she can be contacted directly by phone or email. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.